All right. We're back. I'm going to be drinking some Juice Got Loose right here from good old Valley Brewing. Right there. And so this is another local one to me. And that's actually, it's actually one of my favorites to get when I visit their tap room. Is that Juice Got Loose IPA. Funny enough, they didn't do any canning. Well, I guess they did a little bit of canning. They did kind of like sporadic uh, releases before the whole uh, COVID thing started taking off. But it's funny how people adapt, you know, when the circumstances change. Now they can all kinds of shit, so I guess that's a small positive. All right, right here. Oleo Soapworks, New City. I don't know why it says back of the yards. But back of the yards. Raspberry and leather. Right there. So I've had this puck for a while. I really like this stuff. The raspberry and leather is just simple and pleasant. There's just no two ways about it. I think it's unisex. I think it's good for year-round wear. I think it's good for dates work wear, uh, casual enjoyment. It's just, it's awesome. It's based on Tom Ford's Tuscan leather, although I think this is kind of less sophistic, sophisticated. <laughs> Shows how sophisticated I am. Anyhow, I'm going to be using the good old Luton brush over here and some distilled water. We'll go ahead and wring that out a little bit. And we'll go ahead and get to lathering in the Lancaster Bowl. It's nice breaking out the, uh, the Luton brush every now and then. The Luton brouche, like Jim Combs says. The brouche. Um, <clears throat> what's it called? Yeah, I haven't used Oleo in a while, and, uh, I was kind of digging through the crates, figuring what I was going to use today. And as soon as I saw the stack of Oleos, I was like, it's which one? Because that's what I'm using, is Oleo. I wanted to get some more uh, shaves with the Tessa Silk from Strike Old Shave, the, the test soap that I was sent along. But uh, I think I'll do some more testing after this. Not necessarily shave testing, lather testing. <clears throat> but as far as the shave goes, we're using Oleo tonight. And I really, really like Oleo. Haven't bought anything from Oleo in a while. I know Vita kinda had some downtime at the beginning of this uh, COVID thing. I think she's up and running now, although haven't heard of any kind of new things coming down the pike, which is fine. You know, not everybody needs to have new stuff all the time, but uh, it definitely kind of pulls the focus in your direction when you have some something new um, coming out. A lot of times people will buy the new thing and something old at the same time, you know what I mean? They'll just kind of make a double batch order. I like doing that. I like doing those kind of, you know, buy two sets instead of one. Not just to fill out my den, but uh, to kind of make the order worth it. Sometimes, you know, paying $10 in shipping is kind of a pain in the ass when you think, <clears throat> I'm only buying one set, you know. And sometimes, you know, the company will offer a variety of uh, shipping methods. But sometimes there's only one method that they use. One method, no matter what. And so, in those instances, I usually like to make at least a double order. Just to make it worth my while. Plus, the more the merrier, right? Alright. 
I haven't bought anything from Ollie in a while, like I said. But Olio is definitely one of my favorite artisans. I just like Vita style. Some original offerings. A decent amount of cologne dupes, but they're all kind of real desirable cologne dupes. And just, uh, kind of workaholic, or not a workaholic, what am I looking for? A workhorse, kind of soap base, this duck fat base, has just been tried and true, in my opinion, and just works, for, works good for me every time. It's not necessarily the best in the biz. It's not necessarily new and shiny. But like I said, it's a workhorse. It's reliable. And just because it's not new and shiny does not mean it's not damn good. Because it is. All right. So we're gonna be using the good old Chic Golden 500 right there. Yeah, baby. This is my favorite safety razor right here. D, E, and S, E. This is the top of the pile right here. The Chic Golden 500. It looks like I put that blade a little bit too far. Too far out. There we go. I kind of pushed it in a little bit. Very nice. And... This is a supply injector blade. Oh, it feels nice. It's funny, I haven't, uh, when I first started my channel, kind of broke out as kind of like the injector guy because I was using injectors on a fairly regular basis. I was using um, different types of injectors. And I was using them often. I've got some recent pickups lately, and I, and I, you know, I've been learning straight razor shaving. So it's kind of like the injectors have took a back seat a little bit, but not because I love them any less. I just get that out of the way right now. <clears throat> the uh. The Schick injectors are pretty much my favorite platform to shave with, hands down. I like the look of them. I like... I like that they're not the most popular option. They weren't the most mass produced. But what's funny about that, in my opinion, is that I think they give better shaves. I think they're even more intuitive to pick up than a DE. To just pick up and learn. And in a lot of cases, my own personal um, opinion I think they're cooler I like the way that the blades load the whole injector platform where you kind of have the uh, the clip the cartridge of blades and you kind of rack it like a gun it's just there's just nothing about the Schick injector platform that doesn't appeal to me I think it's just, I think they're just so cool. <clears throat> Pick them up on eBay and Etsy for pretty damn cheap, you know what I mean? And in good condition. And they're fairly easy to clean up most of the time, even if you do find one with a little bit of uh, 
a little bit of grime build up on it. They're pretty damn easy to clean up, you know. Just get a nice toothbrush and some hot soapy water. A lot of times that'll get the majority of it off. <clears throat> Alright, let me dry the hands and we'll lather up for past two. <clears throat> and the soap is just awesome. Scent strength, probably right around five out of ten. <laughs> and it's just nice and dense and gooey. Nice scent strength. Real pleasant scent. I think it has a nice kind of medium density. Kind of a somewhat low structure. It definitely can be built up. Not that it's necessary, but it definitely can be built up, but kind of a uh, medium structure soap, medium density soap, but just great slickness, decent post shave. <clears throat> It's just a workhorse, you know what I mean? And, uh, with all that said, you know, and soap base is kind of progressing forward and, uh, getting better, the price point of this one is still nice, and it's a great soap. So, let's not forget, even though there's no new releases going on right now let's not forget about how good oleo soap works is all right there we go good enough all right pass two against the grain used to be my shit like a year or two ago. I love this stuff. <clears throat> I grilled up some uh, poblano burgers tonight poblano pepper burgers with some pepper jack cheese some garlic poblano aioli just fantastic some regular fries regular fries but just a great dinner had a few west coast ipas not hazies and uh everything turned out great kind of cleaned up and then decided I was actually contemplating skipping doing a video and skipping doing a shave and just being a bum on the couch. <laughs> but uh, I got up, I cleaned up the kitchen and uh, figured fuck it, we'll go get this shave in. Because why not? Right? Why not? They don't take that long. I would say the shave is the the fun and easy part, the video, the kind of editing and uploading, although I don't, I don't really do much editing, but I would say kind of 
entering all the items used and the channels mentioned and the Instagram plug and a brief description of the video and then uploading your picture make sure to make sure that the picture looks decent I'd say at the end of all that that's kind of like the pain in the ass <laughs> but uh, it's really it's not that bad so just get get the uh, hard part over with and then enjoy the shave or at least that's the way I do it oh and there's just so much so much lather caught up in the beard just like that we had a fairly smooth shave I think I uh I think there was something going on there I saw some redness I don't know maybe I got some maybe I didn't it was kind of red right there around the Adam's apple but doesn't seem to be bleeding right now <clears throat> We got the awesome Lancaster towel here. Just fluffy as ever. It's actually in need of a wash. Oh, you gotta love that. You know what I should have done? I didn't even think about it till now. I should have done the old Doug Bear scent booster and put a little splash of the aftershave into the soap and then lathered that up combined. I don't think it does anything for performance. Well, Scratch that. It may hinder performance. I'm really, I couldn't imagine it giving it a, per, a performance boost. It might hinder performance ever so slightly. I doubt it will be as drastic as to cause you to get a bad shave or a bad lather, but you might see a slight decrease in performance if you're worried about that I'm honestly not the soap is good enough that it can afford a performance loss honestly all right let's put this to the side we got the matching splash right there and we got our good oleo skin food product right here pure oil blend of course it has that massive list of ingredients that I have showcased before. We're just going to get a couple drops here. There it is. Got a couple drops there and then should have took the cap off of this first but I think we're going to pull it off. So got some oil in the hand. We're just going to get a couple drops of the splash involved. Mix them together. just incorporate that goodness onto the neck and, and cheeks oh yeah get that up there too just to get that uh, skin food kind of involved in the whole face and we'll get just a little splash more for the uh, forearms. That way I can get that kind of full scent experience going on. Alright. Well, shit. That was a rather quick video. And uh, in my terms. But uh, great shave. Using just some of my favorites. 
Oleo New City and good Oleo Skin Food. Got the New City Soap Tub right there, based off Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Good, good scent. Literally one of my favorites right there. We use the good old Luton brush with that nice kind of burning going on. Electric burning with the blood wood and uh, walnut and a nice little badger knot on top. Let's get that leather off. The Lancaster bowl as always. And uh, my favorite safety razor. The Schick Golden 500 right there. Boom. Schick Golden 500 with a supply blade inside. Just a nice, I think a pretty good looking handle really, or a good looking razor. Thought the plastic long handle would bother me. It didn't. It didn't bother me at all. It's, uh, it's real nice. So I guess that's it, isn't it? Well, that was a good one, guys. Cheers. Catch you on the next one.